So as a regular conversation around how prices goes on here in ODT TV, uh, a little twist on that conversation today, and that's how long it takes to sell those houses as well. Because here in the south, Otago and Southland, house prices are continuing to rise, but also houses are selling more quickly than anywhere else in the country. So let's first have a look, Dominic George, at the actual uh, house prices. Otago Daily Times is reporting this. Otago's median house price rose $22,000 in November to a record of $300,000, up 8% compared with November last year. That's a good uh, rise, isn't it? It is. And I mean, you know, lots of the country will look at that with their $500,000 medium and their million and think, well, that's cheap. But compared to what it was, well, it's a thing. significant increase. It's playing catch up as well to a large degree, isn't it? And uh, like some of those, uh, you know, prices are going to be unsustainable further up the country that you that you go. Sure, and, yeah. and, and, so, and some of those are just ridiculous. But this is just um, a continuation of what we've seen through uh, trends basically throughout the entire country, isn't it? I mean, there's not too many places that haven't gone uh, records, uh, increased uh, volume of sale. And the interesting one there that you uh, mentioned and was reported in the ADT was the fact that it's really quick. And I've spoken to real estate agents in the past couple of weeks and they're saying that basically the battle is uh, yeah, as it always is, but you, you get your listings and once you've got a listing it's like whoo because you know that you can uh, nine times yeah. out of the years flip that thing off. So yeah. speaking specifically to that again the ODT has reported this quote Otago and Southland had the shortest number of days to sell in November at 25 followed by Manawatu, Whanganui and Wellington at 26 days. Nationally the number of days to sell remain steady at 32 days. So it's not a huge difference. It's a week it's difference. A, it's a week. But that's but that's when still you're selling a house cool. though, that's pretty it's good, isn't it? So basically three weeks, just over three weeks, you, you know, from the time that you go, right, we're doing this and you call someone up and you get it sorted to the time that you're actually go, signing on the dotted line is basically three weeks. That's magnificent. And the good thing about that is a lot of us don't quite have the capacity to buy to buy a new house before selling the old house. Mm. So if you have a condition in your, your sale and purchase of you know a condition of house my house needs to sell, then if it's selling quickly, that will only help the market to continue to on. Continue to, to continue uh, to, on. to pick up the pace. And absolutely. look, I have, to, I have to say again, we've said this before from my perspective, is that if you have a house in Dunedin and you're not getting capital gain, then what you end up with is a really low housing stock. Because capital gain is what gives us the ability to have a bit more cash behind us to put in the new kitchen, to put in the new heat pump and to be able to do that. So, you know, we don't want to be Auckland where it's a million bucks, obviously. No. But for those people who have houses, yeah, a good capital gain, a good increase in your value is a good thing for the health of the whole housing stock. And I think we're still at a place right now with an average of 300k that those first home buyers aren't um, kind of cut out of the system. Yeah. So probably where we are right now, hopefully over the next couple of years, is a pretty good win-win for both sides.